What is going on guys, it's Jonah here, and today I thought it would be the perfect time to do a transformation video of my five years, seeing as today actually marks my fifth year of my fitness journey personally, so I figure it's a great time to look back and reflect on just how far I've come, because I feel like sometimes you've really got to just sit there and compare your progress through the steps over the years to really admire yourself and really just feel like you've gone somewhere with it because I mean I can look at myself all I want and I don't see how much I've changed without comparing it to my old stuff so I feel like it would be great to go over the transformation have a look you guys can all see it as well the progress that I have made um, in my five years of training and I also feel like today is a great time to do the transformation because I'm going to be starting a competition prep soon so that's where it's going to sort of go to the next level again so I feel like you guys probably want to see what we're able to achieve from start to now before I take it to the competitive level um, because obviously once you hit that competitive level then you're going to look insane anyway because going to the competitive level is sort of a massive mental change and a lot more of a push to yourself physically, mentally and yeah, so I want to show you all what I was able to achieve in the five years going to the gym and in my fitness journey to get to where I am today. So we'll roll it through from absolute day one, day one at the gym, took some photos. So you see them and let's run through it all now. I'm not the girl that I used to be sometime. I'm more the worst. I'm here what I once was. So as you can see, I have gone through massive change while being at the gym and it's probably one of the most positive things that I could have done for myself because, um, I mean, I didn't like the way that I looked. I was very skinny. Well, I was sort of like skinny fat as you can probably tell from the first few pictures and just over the years progressively getting better and better and better um, to get to the point that I am today, which I, I can't thank myself enough for making that decision. Um, so actually stepping foot into the gym and committing to it and just pushing myself each and every day. So I'll give you guys the breakdown of sort of what I did through those stages. So for the first year, it was sort of like playing around, getting used to going to the gym, um, getting familiar with all the exercises. Um, it wasn't me going in with this mindset of, oh, I'm going to get as big as I can, or I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. It was more so just getting in and training, doing something physical because um, prior to all this I did play rugby and so I was already fairly used to being physical um, during my weeks and stuff doing training because I used to do um, there was one point in time when I was doing three games a weekend because I was playing rugby union rugby league plus rugby union reps um, so I'd have two games on a Sunday and one game on a Saturday most times um, which 
involved about two to three training sessions um, a week, but obviously that wasn't in the gym, that was just sort of running this, that, um, usual rugby sort of stuff. So, and then I ended up breaking my ankle in one of the games. Um, so that put me on hold for an entire season. At the same time as breaking my ankle, ankle, I came down with glandular fever. So I was pretty much lying in bed, not eating at all, just wasting away, which is why I became so skinny and just lost everything that I previously had. Um, even though it was nothing compared to sort of even halfway through that. It was like a little bit of muscle and size, but it was, yeah, it was still there. Um, so I lost everything due to that. And then <clears throat> I just thought to myself, I was like, I need something, something else. Like I need to stay physical once my ankle got better and everything. So I wanted to continue being physical and fit. So that's when I made the choice to join the gym. And so going to the gym, it was hard at first. Cause like, don't get me wrong going to a gym, you're in this big open area, like there's dudes that are just massive. Like back when I started, if I saw myself, I'd probably be a little bit intimidated because I'd be like, oh, there's like a larger dude. Like I'm not even saying that I'm that big. Um, but in the scheme of things, obviously everyone will sort of know what I mean. When you walk into a gym, you see somebody that's a bit more muscly, a bit more defined. It is intimidating at the end of the day. So it was a bit of a struggle for the first few bits, but then sort of once you get to that one month, to the two month mark, you start seeing results. And that's when I started to be like, all right, let's get stuck into it. So first year was just cruising around, sailing through it, getting used to everything. And then once I got past that first year, sort of started building up a bit of a foundation, um, building up that structure to go into the gym, the dedication and the commitment, then I was like, all right, well, now we can sort of push up to the next sort of level. So. I'm not saying this is in any way healthy for you guys to do, um, personally, the way that I did approach this. Um, might might be the way that you want to go, might not be. So, pretty much the plan of attack for the second year of training was I ramped up my calories to 6,000 calories a day. And obviously I put on a lot of size, as you guys would have seen inside the video, there was a point there where I started sort of looking swole. Um, but it was sort of full of water, full of fat. Like I piled on as much size as I could for, I think I did about eight months at 6,000 calories, just eating as much as I could, um, trying to just put on as much weight as I could. I didn't care if it was fat. I didn't care if it was water, um, because I knew underlying there was a muscle increase gaining. Now for a lot of people, this could actually go two ways. This is why I say, don't take this approach with a grain of salt. You need to be prepared for the worst to happen um, because obviously eating this much food you might just become fat like is what it is I'll say it straight up you might just become straight up fat um, let go of yourself completely and it might just turn to shit for you um, so that's why I say this is, is not the best approach um, but it can work for some people so we did 6,000 calories ramped myself up I stopped once I hit 100 kilos now for 100 kilos I didn't look that great. I was, like I said, I was full of water, full of fat. You couldn't see any abs. It was just like bloat everywhere. Um, but I was able to get enough underlying muscle and strength. Cause during this time I was doing a complete strength phase. Um, just trying to build up as much strength. So I was sort of doing powerlifting in a way, um, if that's what you'd call it. So let's just say I was doing a powerlifting sort of plan, eating as much as I could, putting on as much strength. So once I hit 100 kilos, I then did a shred. So I dropped my calories down to 2,700 a day. Now, mind you, my work is carpentry. So this is why some of these numbers are a bit higher or a um, bit higher than what the average person might do. Cause during the day I'm constantly moving around lifting stuff. So um, yeah, so let's get that clear before we sort of get any further into it. Um, just so you guys, yeah, probably should have said it earlier on, but yeah. So we dropped down to 2,700 calories and started to shred, try to get rid of some of that water, get rid of some of that fat. Um, increased cardio just to stay sort of healthy, even though I know that um, I had a rough idea back then that the kitchen is where you pretty much lost your weight mainly from. Um, some people would debate this, some people will agree with it. Obviously everybody has different opinions, um, but yeah. So we reduced to 2,700 and I reduced down to about the 90 kilo mark and stayed there for a little bit um, before dropping down further until I hit about 87 kilos. Um, I always find that 87 kilos seems to be my sort of spot where 
if I'm shredding down to, that's where I like to sort of stop. Uh, Cause any further down than that, I feel like I'll really start losing uh, muscle size. So after that shred, we started building back up at a slow, steady pace uh, instead of hitting 6,000 calories. I've never gone back up to the 6,000 calories a day mark. Uh, I generally float between 3,600 to about 4,100. Um, that's generally my range after that. So the third year was just sort of building muscle in a slight calorie surplus, just building muscle, um, keeping an eye on what was actually happening. So if I started to gain too much fat, I wasn't really jumping on the scale as well. I put that out there, I was visually doing everything because the scale is a number at the end of the day. If you put on muscle, it's gonna say increasing weight. You might be like, oh shit, I'm gaining fat. Well, no, you're gaining muscle. Um, so that's why I didn't really step on the scale much during that time. I was just doing it by eye. So I'd go, all right, obviously I'm eating too much because I'm starting to look a little bit more fat or I'm holding a lot more water. So. <clears throat> I'd reduce calories a little bit um, until we could start seeing that I wasn't just continuously growing fat. And then once I finished that third year, that's when I started to take things a lot more seriously. And I just went, hey, I want to start doing bodybuilding. I want to start trying to look as good as possible. Um, so I took it to the next level, was tracking my calories intensely. Like I sat there, counted everything. I'd be weighing my butter. I still do that. Uh, the weighing butter that I put in the frying pan to cook things uh, and counting that that's something a lot of people don't do counting oils making sure that I'm measuring it all out correctly because you can go overboard with that stuff easily and say if you put 50 calories there 50 calories here there there and you're not counting it by the end of the day you've added an extra 500 calories that you haven't counted and then you're wondering why you're not losing weight um, so I really took it seriously measured everything out, weighed everything out, and made sure it was all bang on. And so now currently, I'm on 4,100 calories a day as a sort of maintain, to maintain my current size, um, 4,100. And it is a fairly clean diet, but I'm not gonna sit here and say I won't snack. Everybody starts snacking, you're gonna wanna snack sometimes. So I do a snack here and there, but I still count the snacking calories. So the next day I can look at it and go, Right, I ate an extra 500 calories last night. So today, I'm gonna to drop it by say, 200 calories the next day, keep it under 200 calories the next day, keep it under say, 100 calories. And therefore, I've just retracted that 500 calories I ate there and brought myself back down to where I was. Instead of being like, okay, I've eaten 500 calories, tomorrow I'm not gonna eat breakfast because you're just gonna slow your metabolism down. So. That's where I'm at now, that's where I'm at currently. I really hope you all enjoyed watching the transformation and sort of hearing um, firsthand how I sort of did it all. Um, hopefully it was interesting enough for you all and if you're thinking of starting the gym, all I can say to you is start. Don't say you're gonna start on Monday, don't say you're gonna start tomorrow. If it's daytime right now where you are, get off your ass, go down to the gym, get in there right now, sign up if it's open. I know some people's gyms aren't open yet, but get down to the gym, walk in, get your membership and start today. Honestly, you will thank yourself in a few years, trust me. So anyway guys, if you did come to enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like as always and comment any feedback you have down below. I read all the comments and I reply to them all and I do love interacting with you all. Um, and if you're new around here, hit the big red subscribe button for more weekly uploads. Um, I appreciate it heaps and I'll see you all next time.